Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you two topics in computerized accounting. The first topic, how to use the payment voucher to record a transaction. Secondly, what are the differences between credit note voucher and debit note voucher? These two topics I'm going to explain you in this video. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the topic of computerized accounting. Already four videos I have prepared for unit number three in the last videos. The four videos are regarding the introduction of this unit number three, which is concerned with recording day to day transactions in ERP, tally ERP. So in the last four videos, I've explained you what are business transactions, what examples of business transaction, what are source document, features of source document, importance of source document, what is voucher and what are the different types of voucher, how to record the day-to-day -day transactions in tally ERP. All these things I have already explained in the last videos. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting unit number three. Watch the first four videos. Definitely you will get a good comment. Now in this video, before starting this video, take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I will explain each and every point in detail. Come on. The first point in this video is regarding how to use the payment voucher to record an entry. In the computerized accounting package, how to enter a transaction relating to payment. Payment voucher. So the payment voucher, the function key is F5. By using F5 function key, we can enter the payment voucher. So the payment voucher is used to record all payments which are made through cash or check. Whatever payments the business made either in cash or through check, these payments will be entered by using function key F5. That is payment voucher. It also records payment of fixed assets or purchases or loans and advances given etc. Any payment payment of salary, payment of rent, payment of electricity bill or payment of uh, payment for purchases, purchase of fixed assets. When any amount is paid either in cash or through bank, we can enter the transaction in payment voucher that is F5. The, to get the payment voucher creation screen. So when we can get the payment voucher screen, the following steps are involved. The below steps should be full, fulfilled. Then followed. Step one, go to gateway of tally. The first step always open the tally package, gateway of tally. Second, select accounting in voucher. Second step, select the accounting vouchers. Third step, click F5, payment voucher. Only three steps are involved. Only three steps. First step, open the gateway of tally. Second step, select accounting vouchers. Then click F5, payment voucher. Example is given here. An amount of rupees 10,000 is paid as salary and an amount of rupees 4,000 is paid as office rent through check of HDFC bank. The example I have given here, 10,000 rupees paid as salary and 4,000 rupees is paid as rent of the premises through check, check of HDFC bank. So how to record this transaction? The create payment voucher for this entry, one should first create ledger accounts of HDFC bank, salary account and rent account. See, directly we cannot enter, enter the transaction of paying the salary, paying the rent. Before entering the payment voucher, you must have the accounts. So how many accounts are involved here in our example? Here we are paying the salary. So a salary account must exist in the ledger accounts. Similarly, rent account must be there. Uh, HDFC bank account must be there. So three accounts we need salary account, rent account, HDFC bank account. So first we have to open the accounts, keep it ready. 
then we can enter the payment voucher so now for creating ledger accounts so i told you before entering the payment ledger you must have the ledger account so how to open the ledger account here steps are given go to gateway of tally first step as usual open the tally package select accounts info <clears throat> accounts information click on click on ledgers <clears throat> so after clicking on ledgers click the create click on create create the ledger then once the ledger accounts are created the payment voucher can be created so primarily the first thing we have to open all the ledger accounts keep it ready after creating the ledger accounts then only you should go to the payment voucher and make the payment to the ledger account that's all <clears throat> this may be asked in examination in a short question how to use the payment voucher to enter a transaction to enter a transaction that's it <clears throat> now next question i'm going to explain you about the differences between credit note voucher and debit note voucher voucher for credit note and voucher for debit note what are the differences first of all the credit note voucher informs that the buyer account is credited in the seller's books suppose i am the seller you are the buyer i sold goods to you on credit later on you have returned back some goods that is called sales return by me because earlier i sold goods to you now you have returned back the goods to me back so i will make a credit note indicating that your account is credited in my books the buyer's account is credited in the seller's books that's what the so credit note voucher informs that the buyer account is credited in the seller's books this is opposite in de debit note voucher <clears throat> the debit note voucher indicates that the supplier's account is debited supplier's account is debited in buyer's books i am the supplier you are the buyer i have made a credit note when you return the goods i have made a credit note and you will make a debit note you will make a debit note indicating that my account is debited in your books your account is credited in my books and my account is debited in your books you will make a debit note i will make a credit note the seller will make a credit note the buyer will make a debit note got it now credit note voucher is made when the customer returns the product or goods to the company so when the credit note will be made <clears throat> when my customer returns back the goods i am having a business i sold goods to you so you are my customer so when you return back some goods that is called sales return if you return back some goods it will be called sales return so whenever sales return is there credit note will be generated credit note voucher debit note voucher is made when the company returns the goods to the supplier you are the buyer when you return back the goods to the seller you will make a debit note voucher so seller will make a credit note voucher buyer will make a debit note voucher that's it credit note voucher represents negative amount <clears throat> because it is deducted so credit note voucher indicates a negative amount whereas debit note voucher indicates a debit amount, uh, a positive amount positive amount because here it is credited that's why negative here it is debited so it is positive sales return book is updated <clears throat> based on credit note voucher see sales return account or sales return book is updated by using this credit note voucher i am the supplier i have raised the credit note voucher so after rate raising the credit note voucher i will update my sales return book by using this credit note voucher similarly the buyer buyer will update the purchase return book on the basis of debit note voucher you are the buyer you are updating your purchases account 
you are updating your purchases book by using debit note voucher so you are adjusting in purchase return and i am adjusting in sales return right next one credit note voucher reduces the sales account and debit note voucher reduces the purchases account we already know the sales return will be deducted from sales and purchase return will be deducted from purchases so in my books i am the seller supplier so i will deduct the sales return from sales and you are the buyer you are purchasing you are purchaser so what you will do you will deduct the debit note from the purchases from purchases you deduct purchases returns so these are the five differences between credit note voucher and debit note voucher now what are the steps required to generate credit note voucher and to generate debit note voucher what are the steps the credit note voucher the steps to create credit note voucher in tally erp are in tally erp how to raise generate a credit note voucher step 1 go to gateway of tally first step open the tally package secondly uh, click on select company after opening the pack, uh, gateway of tally package then you have to select the company in which you want to raise the credit note voucher select the company select any company which you have already created already you have created the company select that company in which you want to generate credit note voucher select the company then click on accounting vouchers after selecting the company click on accounting vouchers then click f8 now remember f8 function key 8 is meant for credit note voucher so after coming to accounting vouchers you have to click f8 by pressing f8 the screen will appear regarding credit note voucher fill the transaction and press enter after pressing f8 after pressing f8 the screen will appear regarding credit note voucher fill all the details then press enter that's all in this way you can be able to generate you can be able to create the uh, credit note voucher what are the steps for debit note voucher exactly same as that of credit net only the thing is function key will be different here the function key is f8 for credit note voucher the function key is f8 for creating debit note voucher f9 function key 9 is the key to enter for debit note voucher all the steps the steps to create debit note voucher in tally erp are first step go to gateway of tally second click on select company then select the company in which you want or the company is already created then click on accounting vouchers next step click f9 press f9 for generating debit note voucher then fill the transaction and press enter after giving all the details in debit note voucher then press enter it will be saved so these are the steps involved in credit note voucher and debit note voucher there is a shortcut key also to make this credit note voucher and debit note instead of following all these things simply press control plus f8 control plus f8 immediately the screen will appear regarding credit note voucher similarly shortcut key for debit note voucher is control plus f8 to control plus f9 sorry control plus f9 is debit note voucher control plus f8 is credit note voucher these are the shortcut key to activate the credit note voucher and debit note voucher that's it so in this video i have explained you two topics that is how to use the payment voucher to record an entry in the accounting package first question second question what are the differences between credit note voucher and debit note voucher inshallah the next topic will continue in the next video so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video 
share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge do subscribe my channel i have already opened one more channel by name hans accounting institute visit that channel also and subscribe that channel too and give your comments stating where are you from i want to know i am getting so many messages but i can't uh, be able to find out from which country from where you are giving the message so do write the comment and give from where you are inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video